Hello everyone, welcome to November's What's New in Beauty video where I also do a giveaway of a whole bunch of makeup, skincare, accessory beauty products for you. I will do some PR unboxings. These videos are focused on new products that are either out on the market or new to my collection that I have purchased or received from PR and I give you my thoughts about them. For products that I've done videos for already like swatch and review videos, I will give you updated thoughts and any changed opinions that I might have after continuing to test those products. If you want to be eligible to win these wonderful goodies, make sure you stay tuned through the video and I will give you the rules throughout. I almost always have coupon codes or discounts that I can provide you. I link all the products that I show you in this video in the description box below to where you can find them for yourself. And of course, if you're going to be shopping online, go ahead and sign up for Rakuten because you may as well be getting cash back when you shop online. I am really excited to be working with Ana Luisa, a jewelry company for this video. They are helping to sponsor it and I'm just really grateful to have gotten a few of their pieces that are absolutely gorgeous. And if you click through the link that I have in the description box, it will take you to huge November sales that they're having on their website that you can take advantage of. I personally love this brand for many, many reasons. The motto for the company is beautifully fair jewelry, which I think is a perfect descriptor. And they also have a sustainable mission, which I think is wonderful. I am personally someone who does care about the environment. And I think that people should have a consciousness of how they they contribute to the degradation of our planet and try to do what you can on an individual basis to try to reduce that. So when there's also a company that is a business but also is fair-minded and keeps that um, in mind, I really, really like that. They have small batch designs. They try to use recycled material whenever possible and they are carbon neutral, which means that the company offsets 100% of their carbon emissions, which is fantastic. They sent along three pieces for me to show you. I'm wearing two of them on myself in this video. First is this necklace and this pair of beautiful, beautiful earrings. This is called the Lev or L-E-V necklace. It retails for $59. It has a quite weighty um, heart 3D heart at the bottom with a chain. The entire thing is 14 karat gold plated. So there you can see the details of the heart and the chain. And then these are the scarlet earrings. These retail for $49. There's two loops that are joined uh, at the base and these are also 14 karat gold plated. Then another set of earrings that I absolutely love. It didn't quite go with this outfit here so that's why I'm not wearing them although I'll show you what they look like in this video. These are called the mini Kinoko marble blue earrings. They retail for $59. Absolutely stunning design and I left this on here because I wanted to show you the care that they take when they package these and send them to you. They are protected and sealed and each item came in its own I don't know what this material is. It's not felt, but very soft uh, material bag here. I love the feel of the pieces that Ana Luisa offers. They are a little bit understated, but have a little bit of uniqueness and oomph to them to keep them from being just plain or boring. And they truly do feel luxurious and elegant without having that huge luxury marked up price tag. So please check out the link for the exclusive Black Friday sales that they have during November. It is lasting only until the end of November, so you have a couple of weeks left to take advantage if you are interested in any of the pieces that they offer. And next, let's change things up a little bit. I'm going to start with products that I have worn on my face to help complete the look in this video. We'll start with the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. I know everyone thinks that it should have been called the Trichrome Palette because... I don't know, that just makes sense, doesn't it? Duochrome, trichome, but it's called the Trio Chrome palette. The packaging is very cool and the quality of the shadows is unquestionably very high. Um, I did create this entire eye look when it comes to the shadows using just three shades from this palette, or maybe it was four. It was four shades, Vertex as the base, Garmon in the crease, Scrap in the outer V, and the multi-chrome shade Scarab on the lids. And I don't know. I just feel like this is a high quality palette. In fact, I even have a little bit of a hard time when I use the mattes in the crease because they are quite pigmented and heavy, if that makes sense. And so if you don't use a delicate hand, it can be actually kind of hard to diffuse them and blend them out. Um, but you know, they're buttery soft 
and they go on beautifully. They have beautiful pigmentation. I just don't think it's worth $129 because you only get three shimmering shades. This should have been a palette that was predominantly trio chromes in my opinion. And even with the trio chrome shades in the center, I think Scarab's the only one that actually has a noticeable maybe three colored shift to it. The rest are just either metallics or maybe duochromes. So that's the part that I found disappointing. I mean, if you love the colors, there are quite unique colors in this palette. So if you're not actually focused on the trio chrome aspect, I think this is actually, you know, maybe a palette that you, you may consider purchasing um, because the quality is undeniable. But if you expect to get a really multi-dimensional shimmering shadow and a lot of selection in that category, this is just not the palette that fulfills that. On the complete other opposite end of the spectrum, extremely affordable are the new e.l.f. putty blushes. Um, I do apply, I think, at least a couple of them in this video that I'll link for you. Oh, that's the other thing. In the description box for anything that has videos of it already, I will also link for you in the description box as well as links to where to purchase them. And on my cheeks, I am wearing wearing the shade Caribbean, which is one of the bolder shades in the line. In general, these are more soft coloration, softly pigmented blushes. Um, I do find that they last fine throughout the day. It's not that they lose their color throughout the day. It's just that they're already kind of soft in, in pigmentation. So I think that if you are darker in complexion, there's only going to be a couple of these that might show up on your skin. Um, and even, even with Without that, it's just you may find yourself wanting to build these up if you want a more noticeable flush of color. But the formulation is nice. They seem to blend in fairly nicely. I don't have any sort of problems with them being too patchy or anything like that. And I do really appreciate that the formula does not seem to lift the foundation underneath. I have put several of these shades on over foundation and they apply and layer beautifully. Unfortunately, e.l.f. in my package sent me a double of one of the shades um, and that was the shade Bali, but luckily for you, this is going to be the first item in the giveaway. Oh, I almost forgot at my base, even before I put on any makeup, I am wearing and I have been using the uh, Tinted Moisturizing BB Cream with SPF 30 Plus. This is from Derma E. Derma E is a company that has a lot of really great skincare options and it's not very talked about on YouTube and I think it deserves more praise. When it comes to this specific product, um, this is in the shade Light. It is zinc oxide based. It has 20% zinc oxide, but it has a tint to it. So it doesn't leave any sort of white cast, of course, on my NC 2025 skin. It does have a slightly thicker texture to it, but it does not feel heavy on the skin. It does, it doesn't smooth over the skin the way like a complete liquidy, um, lotion sunscreen would. There is a little more body to it, but it settles really nicely, doesn't feel heavy or greasy, and gives you an immediate mattifying effect on the skin and does give you a nice sheer layer of coverage too. In addition to that product, I've been using these two lotions from Derma E. This one is the Eczema Relief Lotion with Neem Burdock and Berberry Extracts. Just a wonderfully soothing formulation, nothing in there that's gonna irritate you or cause any sort of sensitivity. So of course, great for people who do have eczema or sensitized skin, but equally good for someone who just wants something very straightforward, very nourishing. This has more of a gel lotion texture so it's actually fantastic for people with oilier uh, combination skin and I not only use this on the body right after I've gotten out of the shower but I have used this very consistently on my face too and then this one likewise is the vitamin E fragrance free therapeutic shea body lotion has a slightly um more lotiony texture than the eczema relief lotion, but is still very lightweight while also being very nourishing. Once again, something that I use right out of the shower to put on my skin all over my body and something that I can use on my face too. And the last thing Derma E sent along, these are the Vitamin C Bright Eyes Hydro Gel Patches. There are a ton of gel patches um, and eye patches out on the market that really are not worth your money. There are only a handful of them that I would even consider spending your money on. And the ones from Derma are definitely in the great category. So they do give you a spatula, but inside you can hopefully see the kind of like yin yang shaped um, eye pads and they are in this like almost mucusy um, 
gel medium, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. They are super nourishing, super hydrating, and of course have really great ingredients without any irritating ingredients like fragrances or, oil, or uh, fragrant oils or things like that. Oh, and of course vitamin E, and they have a nice cooling effect. You could even keep these in the fridge if you really wanted to get that boost of depuffing while you have them on the under eyes. On my lips, I am wearing a lipstick from Yves Saint Laurent. This is their The Slim Glow Matte Lipstick. This is the shade 202 Insurgent Red. And as you can see, it comes in this boxed diamond shape, which takes a little bit getting used to, but actually is very convenient for getting a super precise line. Once you know how to kind of um, angle the lipstick, it gives you a very precise line and border. This applies beautifully. I love the color. It has a wonderfully lightweight and yet non-drying, kind of slightly nourishing formula to it and gives you that matte finish without leaving you with dry pruned out lips. This does have a noticeable fragrance to it and um, it's not something that I really notice once I've applied but it is something that I notice when you uh, open the tube and maybe during application. All right some quick shout outs to recent videos if you haven't checked them out or missed them. Most recently I posted an empties video where I give you really full thorough in-depth reviews of products and tell you if even if I use it up if I think it would be worth repurchasing and why or why not. I did a video giving you a full testing and review of acne patches and I go into the science behind the ingredients, how they work and how it's most effective to use them because there are different ingredients in different patches and they're supposed to do different things. And I think there's a little bit of a misunderstanding with some of the patches and what they're actually supposed to do. So if that has all at all been curious to you or you've been thinking about trying them out, then go check that video out first. I did a really fun unboxing video for this beautiful beauty advent calendar from the company Yves Rocher. And we go through each of the 24 days together and look at what goodies are inside. I also did a video for the most affordable skincare routine where I went and I picked out the best picks at affordable prices for every step of an AM and PM routine. So if that is something that you're interested, in, I'll also link that for you. Oh, I almost forgot the the Milani cream blushers. These are the cheek kiss cream blushes. I also did an entire swatch video and application video for these. Also very nicely formulated, very affordable cream, 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 cream blushes on the market. All right, let's move on to stuff that I haven't mentioned at all before. Let's do skincare first. I've been using this new exfoliator by Biore. Now I am not someone who actually generally uses a physical exfoliating scrub. I tend to focus on chemical exfoliants that have AHA glycolic acid in them or BHA salicylic acid in them or lactic acid in them. And then any other physical exfoliation I'm usually doing with my Clarisonic. But actually recently in the past month or so, I've really reduced the frequency with which I use my Clarisonic. I used to use it every time I was in the shower. And I think that's just really too much physical exfoliation, especially on top of the chemical exfoliation that I do all the time. So I tend to use that only, I would say now maybe once a week, maybe even less than once a week nowadays. But this new product by Biore, you've probably seen commercials for this one. It is the Yuzu Lemon and Dragon Fruit Brightening Exfoliating Scrub. And you gotta be careful with scrubs. You gotta make sure that you are not going with that super abrasive, making tears in your face, apricot seed based scrub or ground apricot seeds. No, 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 we don't want that. We wanna make sure that any physical exfoliant is really refined and that it's smooth and uniform on the edges so it's not scraping at your skin. And so I think the ingredient that is the physical exfoliant in this product is the Illumina. That is the only scrub agent that I see in this product. And unlike something like the apricot seeds, it's not going to tear your face. Now this does have some fragrance, but because it is a wash off product, I, that doesn't concern me as much. And I've had a lot of fun using this. It's very effective. It uh, gives you that nice brightness from a physical exfoliation, but is not harsh on your skin. It smells good. Um, it washes off really nicely and just leaves your skin feeling smoother, cleaner, without feeling super stripped or dry. So I've really been enjoying using this and um, I use it maybe twice a week. I've been partnering a lot with Skin Store lately because they are a fantastic online retailer for more high-end. They also have some even 
more affordable brands on there, but mostly more expensive luxury skincare brands and makeup brands too. But they always have very good sales on the items so that you can get a discount on them. Right now they have a limited edition box that they are running with Paracone MD. So if you are a fan of Paracone MD uh, skincare products, this is definitely a box that you should check out because the savings when you total up the individual prices of the items that are in this box is pretty amazing. So there are three full-sized items in the box. There's the face finishing and firming moisturizer. There's the smoothing and brightening under eye cream. There's the intensive pore minimizing toner. And actually this might be full size. I'm not sure. It's either a very big deluxe sample size because it's 0.5 fluid ounces or the full size. It's the cold plasma plus advanced serum concentrate. And then a deluxe size sample of the growth factor firming and lifting serum. And then on top of the already discounted price for these, there is an additional code that you can use. Again, I'll put it in the description box for, I believe, I forget if it was 26% off or 23% off. It was more than 20% additional off the box. So I'll leave that in the description box for you if you're interested. I am going to go ahead and include um, most, if not all of these items in the winner's giveaway box. I'm gonna move on next to body care items. But before I do that, before I go any further in this video, I wanna give a huge, Thank you and shout out of appreciation to one of my subscribers who contacted me because she and her husband actually started their own candle making company. Her name is June and the company is called CJ Handcrafted and they started their business about eight or nine months ago. So right when the pandemic is hitting and I can't imagine, you know, how tough it must have been and frankly brave even without world circumstances right now, just starting your own business. So I applaud her and her family, and I hope that you guys will go to the website and support if you're in the market, especially when in the colder months when it's so nice to light a candle in the living room and just have your warm home filled up with beautiful scents. Um, I hope you will go consider purchasing some candles from her website. But she let me pick out three of these scents um, for me to try out. So the one that I have been burning lately is called Apple maple bourbon and I can tell you all of these scents are phenomenal they're quite unique this one actually to me reminds me a little bit of a cranberry scent as opposed to an apple scent but either way it is very festive feeling the next one is black raspberry vanilla oh my gosh the balance of the kind of warmer vanilla with the fruitier raspberry is Again, absolutely beautiful. And look at these colors. Love the vibrancy of the colors. And the last one is my favorite scent in the world, lavender. This is lavender and lemongrass, which gives a very big twist to lavender. This one actually is more invigorating. It has, you can smell the lavender. It's more of an underpinning, but the forefront is the lemongrass, which makes this actually quite a vibrant and energized smelling candle. These huge candles, these are eight ounce candles. These retail for $12.50. That is an incredible price. Um, and of course they uh, occasionally run sales too, but go ahead, check them out. Definitely support them if you're looking for some candles. She was also kind enough to send these kind of smaller sample tins for the other two fragrances that they offer. This one is Amber Noir. Ooh, hmm, I think I should get a full size of this one. Has more of a kind of um, sensual scent to it. And then this one is Midnight Passion. It's blue color there. Oh, this one smells like, what's that flower? Gardenias? It smells like that, that white flower, but I am also gonna go ahead and include this in the giveaway package. Hopefully entice you to buy some full sizes of these. All right, I said we're moving on to body care. The first product I wanna share with you is one by a brand that I have never tried anything from before. It is the company Payu. I think that's kind of how you pronounce it in French, but this is their gradual enhancing glow lotion. Of course, in the fall and winter seasons when we don't have as much sun exposure and I'm becoming very, very pale, I want some a bit of color. This has been a beautiful product. What's really interesting about this, so it's not exactly a self tanner because a self tanner is you put it on and then it's supposed to give you the full blown effect after a few hours of the tan. This is a gradual tan, so it does have tanner in it, but it's something that builds gradually and the more layers you put on, then the more dramatic the effect will be. What's been really interesting, first, this has a silky gel formulation to it that is quite nourishing on the skin 
and just applies really beautifully and easily. I don't have any issues with worrying about it streaking or looking patchy, but this, it does have a strong fragrance to it that they've added. And that's to, I would assume, um, uh, to overcome the natural scent of self tanners. I have never found even self tanners where I love the fragrance that they add to it. They always end up smelling. You can smell that self tanner scent. And especially if I have applied self tanner and then I go to bed, I it just, I don't like the way that I, I don't like the way it smells <laughs> on my sheets and on my clothes. What was really interesting with this one is it never got to that point where I could actually smell the self tanner. So obviously the kind of drawback of that is that if you hate the scent that they've added to this, then you're not gonna have a good time, but I really enjoyed it. It does have kind of like an older person's perfume kind of scent. And I know that sounds bad. I frankly enjoy it and I think it's kind of pleasant, but obviously that's gonna be up to your personal taste. But the formulation of this is great. It gives you a lovely color that's gradual, very easy to use. Um, so I've been really liking this one. Another new company to me, it is the company called Zents. They have fabulous, like very spa-like, beautifully uh, designed, bath and body products. And they were so kind to send along several of the things in their line that I am going to continue to use and test. And uh, depending on how much I like them, I will probably include them in an upcoming video that I'll do for my holiday gifting ideas. And I tend to like to focus on gifts that are very easy to give to a wide variety of people. Um, because sometimes, you know, if you're a makeup lover, it's still kind of hard to give other people makeup because you don't know what their personal preferences are, their skin undertones are, things like that. Um, anyway, back from that tangent, um, they have a they have several lines of fragrances. So I did ask for one in the Anjou line of fragrance. This is the Ageless Aloe Moisture Wash. It has fruit extracts, shea, and lotus. It smells wonderfully refreshing and fresh. It does smell like pear, um, which I assume is where the term Anjou comes from, like an Anjou pear. It says that it's uplifting and happy. It has things like jasmine, geranium, basil, vanilla bean, and wild mimosa. So this is going into my shower. It smells wonderful. It seems to have a wonderful gel texture, but they also wonderfully have an unscented line so that if you don't want fragrance added, you can still enjoy their luxurious products. Gotta show you this. This is a very heavy, feels kind of like a, a marble um, jar packaging here. And this is the unzented uh, concentrate. This is their reparative balm and absolutely wonderful, especially during the winter time um, when you have, sometimes you get extremely cracked, dry um, hands, especially with people using alcohol and sanitizer all the time. But you can use this in so many varieties of ways. You can do it on your cuticles, you can put it on your lips, um, on your hands, just anywhere that you want some protective layer of nourishment and it's gonna look just absolutely beautiful on your vanity or on the side of your bed. This is their unscented body oil and it says luminous cashmere elixir. It has organic coconut, passion flower, and organic flower essences. The products are vegan and cruelty free. And lastly, their unscented lotion, age defying probiotic cream. This has organic shea, lotus, and flower essences. And the bottle itself looks like this. Completely scentless, very nourishing nourishing sinks into the skin. Just absolutely lovely, beautiful products. These are made in Denver, Colorado, so they are made locally. And if you visit their website at all, I think you'll very quickly be drawn in to their different lines, different collections that they have. They have videos for just about every single individual product too, kind of explaining how they're made, what's in them, what they do. So um, go check them out, especially during the gift giving season. These are beautiful bath and body body products to consider. Okay, I know this might sound weird, but something that I have been enjoying more lately is brushing my teeth. And that is because of a couple of products from a couple of different brands. The first brand is Twice Smiles and they sell this duo of toothpastes. Now the very first thing that makes this different and a lot more fun than your typical toothpaste is the different flavors that they have. So in the morning, a little more typical, it's called the Early Bird. It's winter green and peppermint. What I like about this is that it's not harsh. A lot of like pepperminty based 
uh, toothpaste can be quite stingy, so that's not this at all. But my favorite part is the nighttime toothpaste. It is called the Twilight Toothpaste. It's with pepper, mint, and vanilla, and lavender. Okay, I know y'all might be thinking lavender is weird, but it can taste, when done well, it can taste really, really beautiful and delicious. Um, if you've ever had like lavender, uh, a lavender latte, or I don't know, like a lavender uh, macron, I don't know. Leave me a comment below if you agree, but I love using this. And at nighttime, it's really fitting because it kind of gives you that aromatic experience, helps calm you down, get you ready for bed. Now these toothpaste do everything that a toothpaste should do. So obviously they fight cavities. Um, they have a whitening effect. These are vegan, gluten-free. They are cruelty-free. They're made with recyclable packaging. And the formula is made, I'm reading off the list here, without SLSs, dyes, sugar, alcohol, sulfates, parabens, charcoal, triclosan, and uh, without carrageenan. So not only delicious but also fun to use and then this baby here which might look a little bizarre to you um but uh, this is the triple bristle sonic toothbrush now a lot of you might have electric toothbrushes but this one is very different this is what the bristle head looks like on this toothbrush Let's see if I can show this to you. So this is kind of the regular toothbrush head at the base there, but then it has two other brushes, one on each side. Of course it turns on like a normal toothbrush, has different levels that you can um, use. It comes with, well, the package actually comes with a tongue scraper too, and of course a rechargeable base. It has an automatic two minute timer on here, but to be honest, you're supposed to brush the kind of adages that you brush for two minutes, but that's with a regular brush. And the thing about this toothbrush is that it's just so much faster because you're actually reaching every side of the tooth at the same time. So normally you would brush the, well, at least this is what I do. I brush the front, then I brush the tops of the teeth, and then I brush the backs of the teeth. Um, but this does all of that at once. So my brush time is not only more fun, but it also is reduced significantly because I don't have to do three separate passes. Um, so I, you know, it does take a little getting used to, to how to use it and it feels a little funky at first, but um, once you're used to it, this thing is great. All right, going back to more traditional body care things, um, this product from a brand called Tidora. This is their Terra Vital Wild Super Fruit Body Butter. And they have various different body care products on their website. Um, a lot of them have different fragrances, so that's why I actually opted for trying out this one. Comes with a wooden spatula, beautiful, a very heavy glass bottle with a plastic top. And this has more of a like whipped mousse lotion texture. Okay, something I literally just got in the mail today, so I haven't actually tested out, but I am looking forward to it because once again, in the colder months and your feet are getting cracked and dry and kind of grody, um, the company Barefoot Scientist has a whole line of products to help keep your feet looking beautiful, being nourished, combating those cracked, dry heels. So first of all, they sent this baby over basically to cheese grate your ankles or any rough spots, which I will definitely make use of. They've got this product, which is called the High Dive Soften and Smooth um, Scientifically Advanced Intensive Hydration Cream. And the most notable thing about this is the very second ingredient is glycolic acid. So that's where you're going to get that chemical exfoliation, that sloughing off of that thicker kind of dead, dry, rough skin on top. And then of course has other really nourishing ingredients like urea, hyaluronic acid, um, ceramides, squalane. So jam-packed with great ingredients. You get a full 120 milliliters over four fluid ounces. Really looking forward to using this. This product, which I think is very unique, I'm definitely going to be testing this out. This is the Pre Heels Plus um, blister prevention spray. So apparently it says it's award-winning spray creates a durable invisible barrier that blocks friction on skin where shoes rub back and forth. This is fantastic. It comes in an aerosol kind of spray bottle. I really want to see if this is effective. Um, not only do I get blisters when I wear my climbing shoes a lot, but then also just normal shoes, especially lots of boot wearing in the fall time or wearing high heels. Um, 
that I, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how well this works. And third up from Barefoot Scientist, this is the Sleep On It Scientifically Advanced Overnight Moisturizing Gel Socks. Oh man, this is gonna be so interesting to test out. Quite weighty, um, super amazingly soft on the outside. I love the color, but inside they are lined with a gel layer never seen these before but I oh, even just my hand I know this seems really weird but <laughs> I am so looking forward to using these uh, I'll probably put a layer of something like the body butter on my feet and then you slip into these you can wear them overnight um, really to get super soft feet in the morning. Then CEO Bigelow sent along this trio of their mentha lip tints in three different tints. There's magenta mint, violet mint, and pink mint. This thing is a fantastic idea for a gift, a very easy gift to give to anyone without having to know exactly what color would suit them. This trio is only $20 and CEO Bigelow has been kind enough to provide an extra 10% off of your purchase from their website. So again, I'll put a link to that and a code for that in the description box. All right, I only have a few things left, but I want to show you this newest lip product that I got from Clarins. If you've been following my What's New in Beauty videos, you know that I adore so many of Clarins's lip products. But this is one that I've never tried before, a line I've never tried before. This is the Jolie Rouge Crayons. They're, they are two in one define and fill in the shade I have is 742C Jolie Rouge. So I'm gonna take off the lipstick that I have. And we're gonna go ahead and apply this together. Look at how it's a very slim pencil and it twists at the bottom so you don't have to sharpen it. It's got a medium to thinner tip to it. So this is supposed to give you intense color, a matte finish, comfortable lips, fine and melting texture, precise and easy application. And it says a built-in sharpener, but I think by that they mean that it just twists up and you don't need a sharpener. glides across the lips. There's no, t I'm barely touching the crayon to my lips and it's uh, transferring. So I don't have to tug or press really hard for the formula to get on my lips. Really easy to get a precise line with the size of the applicator. Ooh, very comfortable on the lips too beautiful impressed as usual with clarence's lip products i think that's one of the things that they do best in their range okay so that's what that color looks like beautifully matte but again has a layer of nourishment and does not dry out feel pruney uncomfortable at all. The company Rubox reached out to me. They sell some wireless Bluetooth headsets um, on Amazon and on their own website. I got these through Amazon and they look very cool. They also have them in white with rose gold, gold plating and some other accents and other color choices, but I chose the black with the gold. And what I will say is that they're extremely affordable. They're under $30. Um, they are extremely lightweight. They also feel very comfortable to wear on your ears. They do go around the ears um, and the wireless aspect is the most convenient part of them. I will say that the sound quality is not the best um, with certain um, sound ranges. I feel like you can hear a bit of buzzing um, with a lot of other ranges. I don't know. I don't notice any sort of negative sound quality, but there are certain ranges where I, I feel like there's a little bit of crackling. So I have to just be honest with you about my experience in that sense. But especially if you have like a teenager, someone younger, and they basically care about how they look and also get you know decent quality at a very affordable price i mean under 30 dollars for a bluetooth wireless uh, headset that looks this pretty i think is uh pretty pretty darn good so if you're in the market for that then these are i think a decent option for you to consider and as i often like to do is to round out my videos with my favorite nail polish brand this is zoya um, i almost always when you see me wearing a color in a video it's almost always a zoya nail polish color sometimes opi but more often than not zoya and I, I'm sorry, I get asked all the time what's on your nails and usually I kind of just forget, but this time I made sure to grab 
the shade and remember which shade I was wearing. This is the shade Rocky from Zoya, Rocky like Rocky Balboa. So that's the color that's currently on my nails. This manicure is several days old, but Zoya sent along the latest holiday collection. This is the intriguing collection for 2020. You have an array of both cream finish shades and sparkling metallic shades. So there's the first half of the collection. Oh, and even richer colors here. A lot of kind of more metallic shades and then some more sparkly shades. So there's the second half of the collection. And if I'm able to, I will try to include some of these shades in the giveaway box too. Sometimes there's weird regulations when you're shipping nail polishes. Um, so I, I may not be able to, but if I can, I will try to include some Zoya nail polishes too. Okay, there you go for November 2020. I every Almost every month I think to myself, oh, I don't have as many products this month. This will be a quicker video, but then they always end up being... 30 minutes long plus still. So I hope that you don't mind that and I hope you enjoy that. If you wanna be eligible for the giveaway, make sure you are a subscriber. Leave a comment on this video saying something interesting. Please do not just say, enter me. I will not enter you if that's all you leave in the comment. Um, and make sure that you follow on Instagram. Yes, that is a requirement. Um, and I think for this one, I should be able to do this internationally. So this should be an international giveaway and that's what's new and that's what will be in your giveaway box. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Give this video a thumbs up if you can, and I'll see you in the next one.